we've had a bit of evolution and since NAB. NAB was a big year for us this year. We had a lot of products which really kind of um, upgraded a lot of our existing product lines to 12 gig SDI. But what I suppose one of the biggest announcements was our Ursa Mini. Now, we announced that the product would be shipping just before IBC. Unfortunately, there's been a slight delay, but for good reason. Um, the reason why we've actually um, pulled back the um, Ursa Mini until this week when it starts shipping um, is because we've had a couple of additions. So now the Ursa Mini has an SDI input on there, which is great for probably people working in a live environment because you can now feed a switcher feed into the camera. What you'll see is that there's an SDI input here on the, on the back and then you have a program button here. When you hit the program button, that will then display what the, what the switcher is actually inputting into the camera. So that's great for live, but then the question comes, well, what if you want to use things like B4 lenses? Because in the broadcast world, in the studio world, B4 is pretty much a standard. So what we've actually done on the front of the camera is you'll notice that the lens that I've got on this is a Fujinon B4 lens. And to, to achieve this, we have come up with a quite a neat solution. We've put a small lens connection on the bottom of the camera um, that powers a B4 lens. And then if you buy the Ursa Mini PL, um, you can actually detach the six screws on the front of the turret and replace that with a B4 lens adapter. Now that lens adapter isn't just a mount fix, it has also got, optical, uh, got optics in there as well. So um, any camera aberration that you might get, any problems that you may get in terms of fringing or, or distortion on the edge of, the, um, on the, edge of the, the lens coming into the sensor, is actually removed through the optics in this B4 lens mount. When you buy the B4 lens mount, that costs 279 euros. It's a small addition to the existing package. And it's worth me mentioning that it's only for the PL, it's not for the EF. So if you've got a PL camera and you want to go to B4, then this small adapter is required. So the addition of a B4 lens mount, the addition of obviously program input and an SDI input means that we've now got a camera which we think is going to be a lot more useful to people in the broadcast and live world. And, you know, we're hoping to get the 4K version out this week. So, you know, things are looking good. We've not changed the price of the camera. Everything is still as it was. Um, we've got obviously a number of back orders of the camera, which we're looking to, um, you know, obviously remove this this next kind of few weeks. Um, we're very confident that as manufacturing ramps up, we should have those cleared pretty quickly.